The Steam Deck is probably one of the best consoles available right now. Not only is it affordable, but it's also portable and easy to use. Along with that portability comes the need for good battery life. One of the biggest complaints that people seem to have about the Steam Deck is that the battery life isn't the best. Since I've gotten my Steam Deck, I personally haven't seen this to be a big issue, especially with the right games. There are hundreds of great games that give good battery life, but I chose a selection of some of my favorites for this video. For this video, I'm basing the battery life off of playing the game without optimizing it for battery life at all. If you limit your frame rate and do other optimizations like turn down the settings, you'll be able to get a few more hours out of these games, but I'm trying to make choosing games as simple as possible. I haven't found a good way to capture my Steam Deck gameplay yet, so I took this footage on my PC, but I can assure you that I've tested all of these games out on my own Steam Deck, which has been a great experience. Without further ado, here are my 10 best battery life Steam games for the Steam Deck. Borderlands 2 is the only Borderlands game that I've tested on the Steam Deck so far, but I was very impressed with the default battery life. A first person shooter like this is best played with 60 frames per second, but some people might be comfortable limiting it to get even better battery life. For those who don't know what this game is, it's a looter shooter game featuring some of the most insane weapons you've ever seen. The whole game is filled with humor and wacky characters who make the story entertaining to watch. This game is one that I've tried to get into on my PC, but I found it much more enjoyable on the Steam Deck. If you don't mind playing a first person shooter with a controller, this is a great game to get on your console. Mad Max is a game that I've put quite a few hours into over the years, and it's always been extremely optimized for every device it's played on. It wasn't surprising that it runs perfectly on the Steam Deck, and it also has quite a bit of battery life. The game involves driving your car around a desert to find upgrades and beating up the inhabitants of the wasteland. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is brutal and very satisfying, and the car combat is some of the best that I've ever seen. It's incredibly fun taking out convoys with a harpoon launcher while ramming other cars off the road. All the upgrades you can get make the car more fun to drive, and the game knows how to properly reward exploration. I think this game is an amazing experience on the Steam Deck, and you should definitely check it out. Tunic is heavily inspired by the original Legend of Zelda games, and it's one of the most unique games I've played on the Steam Deck so far. You start off the game with nothing more than a stick, and you explore the world and fight the enemies who try to stop you. The combat and checkpoint system is very similar to a Souls-like game, and the exploration is extremely rewarding. There are times when you find out there are shortcuts next to an area that you've walked past a dozen times. The world just keeps opening up the more you play it, and you can really see how much time was put into the development. Another unique thing about this game is that everything is in a fictional language that you slowly learn as you play the game. You collect pages that are similar to old video game guides, and these guides teach you new mechanics. Some of these mechanics are available from the very start of the game, but you don't even realize you can do them until the book tells you. When I played the game on my Steam Deck, it really felt like the game was made for a device like this. Since the game is both amazing and has great battery life, I highly recommend playing it. Yep. Hollow Knight is one of the best indie games that you can get. The hand-drawn art style is beautiful and the world is extremely fun to explore. For some reason, it was really hard for me to get into on a big screen, but it honestly feels perfect to play on the Steam Deck. Hollow Knight is best played with a controller anyway, and having something like this on the Steam Deck is yet another reason why this is such an amazing console. The Half-Life series has influenced the gaming industry in a lot of ways. Since it's so old, a lot of gamers never really thought to go back and play it, but the Steam Deck can make older games seem a lot more exciting. The older graphics make the game extremely easy to run on a handheld device, 
even when there's a lot of action happening on the screen. While I haven't beaten the game on the Steam Deck yet, it's a great experience from what I've played so far. Eventually I'll finish the game, but my backlog of Steam Deck games keeps piling up. If you've been wanting to play the Half-Life series, the Steam Deck is one of the best ways to play them. RimWorld is a colony builder game where you help several colonists survive on an alien planet. Although the game seems very complicated at first, you'll find that most of the mechanics are easy to learn. This is the type of game that you can easily spend hours in if you aren't careful, and it's perfect for playing while traveling for long periods of time. The one downside is that the interface can be more difficult to use on the Steam Deck, but that's easy to overlook. There's a lot I can say about this game, but it's best experienced by yourself. So I highly recommend playing it on the Steam Deck. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. Portal 2 is one of the best puzzle games ever made, and it has a very enjoyable story to go along with it. Since it's made by Valve, you can be sure that they've heavily optimized it for the Steam Deck. The Portal series revolves around using a portal gun to solve puzzles in an underground testing chamber. The rogue AI forces you to complete these chambers as you look for a way to escape. Along the way, you have a robot companion named Wheatley, who provides comic relief and helps you escape the facility. Whether you play the amazing single player campaign in handheld mode, or play the co-op mode on a TV with a friend, this game is a great experience on this device. By now, most people should know what Stardew Valley is. The relaxing farming simulator game is on many platforms including Switch and mobile, and it's also amazing on the Steam Deck. There are so many things to do in Stardew such as farming, fishing, mining, or just talking with the villagers. This game is great to just sit and relax by yourself, or to play with a friend in co-op mode. It has enough battery life that you can have very long play sessions, so it's especially good for traveling in the car or on a plane. I've had a lot of fun with this game over the years, and the Steam Deck is yet another great way to play it. The Binding of Isaac is one of the best roguelite games ever made. Most people who are fans of that genre have heard of it, and it's another one that's amazing to play in the Steam Deck. If you aren't familiar with this game, it's a dungeon crawler roguelite taken from the perspective of a child's nightmares. There are so many different upgrades and characters in this game that no two runs are ever the same. I've played this game for a long time on PC, and I love the fact that I can keep all my progress on the go. This was actually one of the first games I ever played on Steam Deck, and the fact that I can play this game while sitting on the couch or lying in bed is exactly why I bought this console. It has a ton of battery life and almost endless replayability which makes it a perfect game to play on the Steam Deck. Machinarium is a game that I've had on my radar for a while, and I finally played it through on the Steam Deck. I'm very glad that I did play it on this device, as it's extremely glitchy on my PC due to it having a high frame rate which is why it looks glitchy in the footage. Fortunately, the game is flawless on the Steam Deck, and I never had any crashes or glitching whatsoever. This game is a fully hand-drawn, point-and-click game set in a world built by robots. The world that was built here is extremely well done and wholesome, along with the fun story that you play through. The point-and-click style reminds me of games that I used to play as a kid, and this is probably one of the best that I've ever played in that genre. It only took me about six hours to beat, so you could finish the entire thing on one Steam Deck charge. Overall, I was very impressed with the game, and I highly recommend playing it on this device. Like I said earlier, there are honestly hundreds of games that I could have put on this list, but these are just a few of my favorites. If you know of any great ones, let me know in the comments and we'll add it to some future videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.